Hey guys, it's Ryan back here again, and today I'm reviewing Star Wars Rebels Mission Series Zeb and Stormtrooper. This pack is part of Wave 1, and the retail price is $9.99. Up first for this 2-pack, let's take a look at the basic Stormtrooper, which is a completely new sculpt based off the new animated style. The overall body proportions are thinner, and the armor has a smoother look and feel to it. For the most part, he's painted in white, with black for detail. I have to say I really like the design of the new Stormtroopers, but it's just disappointing that their articulation really isn't there. Other than that, there's not much else to complain about. It's got plenty of sculpt detail, and the paint applications could be a little bit better, but for the most part, they're pretty good. The helmet's where the animation really stands out. It has a more curved design and a wider base, while everything else is just like your basic Stormtrooper helmet, with blue printed vents on the side and various gray details. At the waist is some fine sculpt work for the armor, as well as the belt, and on the back of the torso is some additional animated like detail. Attached to the back of the belt is a thermal detonator, and sculpted into the forearms is a row of grooves. Both of the legs are sculpted differently, and accurately at that, and there's quite a bit of subtle armor seams throughout the figure. The articulation for the Stormtrooper includes a swivel head, swivel shoulders, and swivel hips and his weapons and accessories include an E-11 blaster. Moving on to the second and final figure is Zeb Aurelios, who's one of the main rebels from the TV series. He's part of a new species that was introduced through the show known as the Lasats, which are large humanoid-like creatures, which is a perfect description for Zeb. Towering over the other figures in the series, Zeb is one of the more exotic designs in both the sculpt as well as his paint applications, which include a variety of colors, such as dark purple for his skin, and gray and yellow for most of his clothing. His head sculpt is pretty nice, but I think Hasbro could have improved on his basic facial expression. Sculpted onto the sides of his face, as well as his chin is some facial hair, while the remaining hair is printed onto the top. His eyes are painted in dark green, while the pupils are black. Printed onto his left shoulder plate is a large white logo, while on his arms and legs is V-like tattoos. On his left arm gauntlet is a wrist communicator, Sculpted onto his belt is some buttons and gadgets, which are painted in red. And protecting part of his legs is multiple armor plates. His feet have four toes each, and his legs are ever so slightly arched at both the shins as well as his knees. The articulation for Zeb includes a swivel head, swivel shoulders, and swivel hips. And his weapons and accessories include a Lasat bow rifle, which is actually rather detailed. Overall, for about $10, this Mission Series 2-pack is one of the best to come out of the Rebels line so far, because not only do you get one of the most popular characters, but a nice looking army builder with him too. In my opinion, I'd highly recommend you grab one of these as soon as you can, because I'm sure they won't last for very long. I hope you all enjoyed this review, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Subscribe for hundreds of collectible reviews, including Halo and Star Wars, and follow me on Facebook and Twitter for up-to-date channel news.